In this episode, we're going to expand our short code to allow attributes. So let's take a look at how we want to proceed. This time, rather than hard coding in a Twitter account, I would like to be able to type Twitter username equals Envato Web Dev. So I will save that, and now let's go into the code and write the functionality for this. Now, when you're creating short codes that accept attributes, this function right here will accept a new array and that will be represented by attributes, but you're free to name that how you wish. Note that this will contain whatever attributes you pass here. So for example, let's try to print R, those attributes, and then we'll die. Come back, refresh, and notice that we now have an array containing the username and the value. Let's do another one, hello equals world. Now I want you to take note that quotations are optional, but only on the condition that the value is one word. And that is represented by the attributes parameter that is passed. Okay, so now we can use this. Instead of hard coding this in, we will simply echo out attributes and we gave it the name username. So let's save that. And if I come back and I refresh the page, we have one syntax error and it's on line 12. And of course, I forgot a closing parentheses. So let's try that one more time. And now, can you see follow me on Twitter? And we're still getting that URL. So now, let's change it to another Envato site, Envato PSD. If I save that, refresh it, now if I click on it, it's successfully linking us to Envato PSD. So great, that's adding a lot more flexibility. But there's one problem. What if they just do this? Let's see what happens. Refresh. And now we're getting a URL simply to twitter.com. Because no username was passed, this was not displayed. So it simply links to this URL. So why don't we try to set a default? And we're gonna do it a quick way for now and then we're going to improve upon it in the next lesson. So we'll say if not is set attributes username, in that case, attributes username is going to be equal to Envato web dev. So what we're doing here is we're looking for a key of username within the attributes array. And if that's not set, if that doesn't exist, then let's go ahead and set it ourselves and we'll set a default to Envato web dev. Now I want you to note that this will work, but there's actually a better way that we'll take a look at shortly. But for now, let's see if that does the trick. Refresh. And once again, we have a default, but if we apply a custom username, Envato 3D, and now we refresh the page. Now, if you look at the bottom left-hand portion of the screen, we're linking to Envato 3D. Okay, so in the next lesson, let's see if we can take this a step further, give the user the ability to override the default text that displays here.